All right, Jeb, you've got a container of milk in the fridge and you want to know if it's split. What do you do? Oof. Well, I'd probably start with checking the expiration date and then maybe give it the old smell test. Sounds about right. But even after collecting those inputs, you'll still not know with 100% certainty whether or not it's split. But you can probably make a fairly accurate prediction based on your previous experiences with milk. Yeah, I'm gonna say this milk has gone bad. Ugh. Throughout your life, you've collected data points in your head on what makes milk spoiled or not. And based on that data, you make a prediction. This pattern recognition is similar to how machine learning works, where we try to get machines to recognize patterns and make predictions based on data. But you might be asking, what is this data? And where does it come from? Yeah, and these are great questions. Data is information, and it can come in many forms. Numbers, like the temperature, dates, text descriptions, like descriptions of the milk's appearance, and even images or sounds. Depending on what you want your machine learning model to do, some types of data will be more relevant than others. Choosing the right data is crucial. If you want to predict milk spoilage, the song on a radio isn't helpful. But the date and temperature are key pieces of information. A machine learning model needs the right kind of data to learn effectively. In this lesson, we'll discuss what data might look like and how different types of data can be used. Ready to learn? Let's dive in. Mm. Out of bounds.